Hey, I'm Benjamin Marsh, and welcome to Real Fake Blood Films. Real Fake Blood Films is going to be one film a month. It's going to be horror, science fiction. It's going to be only DIY practical effects. So at the beginning of the month, I'm going to come up with a concept and spend a few days writing a script, and then I'm going to move into production. And by the end of the month, I'm going to have a completed short film. And I'm going to do that every month for the rest of my life. So I'm very excited to show you the process of making the first of many Real Fake Blood Films. Treats. I wanted to do a Halloween short, something fun and spooky to kick off the project. So I had this idea of a bully, like this little punk out stealing candy from kids, and he ends up stealing candy from the wrong trick-or-treater. What are we doing? I can sound bad. <laughs> this is my daughter Corvus. Can you say hi? Hi. It's gonna be a fun day. It's gonna be a bloody day. So for fake blood, for real fake blood, going with classic caro syrup, food coloring, and just mixing it into a big bowl. So I got a good red base. I add a little bit of blue. A little bit goes a long way. A little bit of yellow. Just eyeball it and keep testing it. This is the most inexpensive and uh, classic. So now we've got a gallon of real fake blood. It's sticky, it's messy, it's beautiful, right? Right. Right. It's time to do the guts, intestines. First I have to make scar wax, and I'm using Vaseline and some flour. Just mix the Vaseline with the flour. You just kind of play with it and get the consistency right. It shouldn't be sticky though. If it's too sticky, um, add some more flour. Is it fun? Mm -hmm. I'm going to be using this plastic wrap scar wax I made, our fake blood, a spray bottle, and some water, and some cotton balls. You lay the plastic out, and then you put the scar wax inside along with some cotton balls. And then you hit that with some blood. And then when you roll it up, the effect is that you get some of the fatty deposits from the scar wax and then the pockets of blood clumps from the cotton. Oh yeah, that looks good. So this is sort of like classic cutaway to the guts effect. Just gonna make the chest cavity. I think the first thing I wanna do is make uh, like a big sheet of liquid latex, four or five layers thick, that I can lay over the stomach, have a little fleshy texture in there, in between the shirt. I'm gonna prep some pieces on these cooking sheets. Need some latex and a foam brush. So I love liquid latex. Um, it is just so much fun. Uh, you get it at makeup supply stores. I got this at an effects shop. But the thing with this stuff, once it's dry, is that it actually sticks to itself. So as you're peeling it off, you use the flour to prevent it from sticking to itself. Before I can prep the chest piece, I need to prep the shirts. I wanted the bully to be wearing a pumpkin shirt, and instead of buying three pumpkin shirts, I found these orange shirts at a craft store for a few dollars each. And I'm gonna cut out a pumpkin stencil and spray paint the pumpkin decal onto the shirt. So the idea here is that I'm using this tray to create the torso. That way you can reach in pull out the guts. I'm gonna cover this up with some cardboard to fill out the shape. It's looking a little bit flat, so I'm gonna add some stuffing in here Come to fill it out. Enough. Cut a hole in that cardboard, put some latex over the top of it. Cut a hole in that latex for the skin layer. Put the shirt over the top of that pre-cut the shirt, I'm gonna do more tearing that I am cutting, tattered rather than like clean cut. I'm gonna make some uh, latex pieces, just some strips that I can apply to Maddie's face. I have a concept for Halloween demon lady that I'm uh, envisioning is she's got torn skin around her eyes and around her mouth. So I think I'm gonna prep some of these latex pieces that I made for Maddie's makeup. So I've been thinking about the look. I've been really into like the green, orange, purple. So it's gonna be a lot of like green fill light, purple rim light, orange under light. So I use these table covers. These are plastic table covers that I get at dollar stores. Only use these on LEDs. Don't use these on any other lights because they will melt. All right, so this is my friend Maddie. Hi. And she's gonna be playing the creepy little girl. I chose her because she is a what, what's haunted the, house actress. Haunted house scare actress. actor, I guess, is the technical. I've worked at haunted houses all over the country in like eight different states. <laughs> yeah, that's that's why I chose her. I got so these are soul eater teeth. These are actually from it. I think these ones. She came with a 
pre-bloodied doll dress, which is great. So now we're gonna do the makeup. I've got these super basic cream makeups. I have all these latex pieces for the eyes and the mouth, and I'm gonna apply those with spirit gum. Makeup is done. Feeling awesome. Yes. Okay, oh, shooting time. All right, here we go. <laughs> Maddie, thank you so much. Of course. Oh my gosh. It was a blast. It was so much fun. <laughs> Alright, so our bully is here. We got Saw. Andy. <laughs> Andy walking. Well, hi. He's already causing trouble. Yep. Excellent. <laughs> totally not gonna look at <laughs> Action. Trick or treat. <laughs> For me. <laughs> Let's keep that, that's funny. All right, luckily Kate is a film student, so she's on sound. We got mom over here holding the bucket. Okay. Give me your candy, little twerp. <laughs> oh, you can like freak out, and then Kate, you're gonna go. All right, great. We got it. That's it. Thank you. Ow. Thank you so much, Andy. No problemo. You killed it, li you. literally. So how was it? Did you have fun? I had a lot of fun. It Good. was cool. Actually, that's a wrap for the entire shoot. So Woo. it was two days, two days, three day, three hour shoots, six hours for a two page script. So that's <laughs> pretty good. Pretty good shooting. Oh. All right. Yay. <laughs> uh, I've got the picture locked. I've got the export here. I'm just gonna start recording some Foley. This is Bianca, uh, my partner, and she happens to be a very talented actor, and so she's gonna lend her voice for the demon cannibal child. Give me like a little, little tear. I think hit chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> So I reached out to my friend Jeff Finley, who's a composer, and he gave me the okay to use uh, the scores that he had done for my other shorts. Thanks, Jeff. Thank you for watching. You can find Real Fake Blood films on social at Real Fake Blood. I'll be posting the videos as well as behind the scenes photos and tons of extras and stuff. Um, ask me questions, I'll answer. Send me stuff that you make. I'd love to check it out. And come back next month because in like eight hours, I'm going to be starting the next installment of Real Fake Blood films. Thanks for watching.